Hey, what's up? In today's episode, we're going to take a look at all the new product releases in Xiaomi's Mi Home store over the last few weeks. I think that uh, this must have been the most releases in just four weeks that we've seen so far, so let's go! Just a few days ago, Xiaomi announced their latest entry-level phone model, the Redmi Note 5A. Available in three colors for $699 for a 16GB and $899 for a 32GB model. This month Xiaomi also announced the latest update on their uh, MIUI operating system, MIUI 9. With uh, a lot of uh, performance updates, new features and some really cool AI stuff. During the presentation conference they've also announced their new Mi 5X which uh, seems to be a really decent smartphone with a 5.5 inch display. It's being uh, promoted heavily right now. The Mi 5X is in store for $12.99 for 32 gigs and $14.99 for the 64 gig models. On the MIUI event, Xiaomi also announced their upcoming AI speaker. This device is uh, equipped with six microphones and uses two audio drivers and a bass driver that produces room-filling sound the way it's described. Xiaomi has uh, released a number of videos showcasing this upcoming speaker and its functions and it looks like it will be able to take notes, inform you of weather and traffic situations and it can answer questions, read stories, play music and it can also control all of Xiaomi's smart home devices. So this thing might become a really, really big deal. The AI speaker is equipped with dual band Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth 4.1 and for some reason the speaker seems to be able to produce sound from 60 to 15 kilohertz, which is slightly unusual. Its design though really falls in line with the looks of Xiaomi's air purifier and water purifiers. Its first beta release is very limited and only a few lucky ones got their hands on it for just one RMB. And during this beta testing period, Xiaomi will train its AI and get a real life feedback. So it will take a while before the speaker will actually be released in store. But I'm hoping that Xiaomi is really pushing to have an actual release before Christmas this year. The Mi AI speaker will be in store for a mind blowing 299 RMB, which uh, equals about 44 USD at the moment. It seems like you're going to be able to update it with new apps and new features over time as well. So it looks like a very interesting product for sure. I'm sure that this speaker will be limited to Chinese at first, but looking at Xiaomi's global ambitions, I would not be surprised if English support will be added very soon. I've tried to get my hands on the beta, but unfortunately that was just impossible. But the moment that I can get my hands on it, I will be doing a much more in-depth video about this one for sure. While making this video, Xiaomi came out with this small 4K action camera, so I just uh, had to punch that in on the last minute. This very small and lightweight camera is only 99 grams, records 4K video and has a 2.4 inch touch display on the back. It's got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so it can be controlled with the app as well. It's got 6-axis stabilization, a Sony sensor and a f2.8 lens so I'm curious to see how it will perform in low light. The camera has time-lapse, slow-motion video and high-speed photo options. It just got out in the store for only 699 RMB, which right now is about 104 US dollars. Based on the images on the website, I think they will be coming out with a special gimbal and some other accessories very soon as well. Next up we've seen two crowdfunding releases of two new Wi-Fi enabled security webcams. The first one has a very small and nice looking design. It's a stationary camera with a 120 degrees angle lens and it only weighs 65 grams. It's got a micro SD slot and the camera is capable of recording 720p video. Just like all the other smart security cams it seems to have a motion detection function to automatically start recording and uh, maybe send you a notification to your phone as well. Coming in at only 79 RMB this is a simple but very well priced camera. On the same day another smart webcam hit Xiaomi's crowdfunding platform as well and this unusual webcam design looks a little bit more like the AI speaker and the air purifiers. It can stream HD video at 15 frames per second, its lens has an angle of 110 degrees and the device can rotate 360 degrees horizontally and 93 degrees vertically. Both webcams have a built-in speaker and microphone allowing for two-way communication as well. This webcam came into the crowdfunding for 149 RMB. Both of these webcams uh, should start shipping half of September and I've ordered both so I probably will do a video on both when they come out. Next was a crowdfunding for this 4K HDR projector. This projector is equipped with a few ports and it's got built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It comes with a remote control and a small wireless speaker. It supports 4K video up to 60 frames per second so it actually comes with uh, quite the amount of processing. 
It's running MeTV, which in China is packed with loads of content, coming in at the crowdfunding for 44.99 RMB, which uh, equals about $670 right now. Next up in the crowdfunding section was this new smart type mountain bike, the R1. It's got the GPS and several other tracking methods built in and it needs to be equipped with a SIM card for that. And it seems to be able to track distance and speed so it uh, most likely will connect with your phone over Bluetooth. It's got a uh, 2600 mAh battery which uh, can be charged over USB so you could easily charge your bike with a power bank. The bike comes rolling into crowdfunding for $19.99 which is about $2.99 USD at the moment. Very similar to Xiaomi's Nightlight release last month, this Yeelight Nightlight just hit the Xiaomi stores and it's equipped with a built-in motion sensor to trigger the light and this light has a small built-in battery that can be charged through its micro USB port. Coming in for 79 RMB, it's slightly more expensive than the one that was released last month, but it looks pretty good. Then there were these new Bluetooth earbuds by Xiaomi. These super small earbuds are basically wireless and connect over Bluetooth 4.1. At only 14.5 grams, they're super light on a single charge its standby time is about a week and you can play it continuously for about five hours. The earbuds are actually waterproof and they come with this small charging cable and this small pouch. They're in store now for only 169 RMB. It was just a matter of time but last week a smart air conditioning unit finally appeared in the Mi Home store. The air conditioner has a really nice sophisticated and minimal design. It comes with this uh, pretty big and also really nice looking remote control. It connects over Wi-Fi which I expect is 2.4 GHz and it can be set up to work with the Mi Home app. This should allow you to set the AC settings and set up automation and climate rules as well. It comes in the store for uh, $34.99 RMB, which is about $650 US dollars at the moment. It's not the most cheap AC, but it looks so amazing and it works with the Mi Home app. Huh. I did notice my AC is getting really, really old. Next up, this uh, somewhat smart fridge actually just hit the Mi stores as well. The fridge cools with a new technique of uh, 360 degrees cooling and it's got all kinds of uh, antibacterial features. The cooling should be uh, less dry as opposed to traditional fridges, which should uh, preserve your food longer. It's got an automatic rapid cooling feature when the temperature rises, like when you put hot food in the fridge. And the freezer should actually be built to prevent getting frosted, which which is a pretty nice feature. It's got a pretty large display on the front that can show temperature and air quality and the quality of your tap water. You can set some of the settings of the fridge in the app, but I don't think it can register all the food and expiration dates and stuff. Coming in for 3000 RMB, this is actually not bad considering the size of the fridge. Next up, we've had a updated release of the Mi Notebook. And then there was this screwdriver set coming in for 99 RMB because you never know when you might need it. We've seen the curtain controller finally made its way to the store this month, coming in for 599 RMB. I actually have installed this one recently and I'll try to do a video about it as soon as possible. Then the motorized floor mop that was crowdfunded about two months ago finally made its way to the store for 599. And then we had a lot of new household products that hit the store over the last few weeks as well. Starting with this cutlery set, only 79 RMB for a set of four. And then there was this electric blender to make smoothies. Coming in smooth for only 199. Then there was a motorized foot scrubber, a electric hair trimmer, and a whole bunch of things like this clock, a iPhone protector case, a laptop stand, a kid's backpack, wooden building blocks, pillows, diapers, sneakers, t-shirts, shirts for women that actually look, uh, look really cool. Then there was this jacket, two new plants, another set of chopsticks, this rose thing that I guess is maybe to propose, and an actual set of roses, a set of really nice looking concrete plant pots, another type of tea, and why not do this uh, great looking teapot as well. Then there was wine, because this store is really going uh, nuts. And that's why they had these yoga products as well. And oh wait, a leather belt, these swimming goggles, and this actual tray. And these tissues got out in the store as well. I've also noticed Xiaomi is really pushing this uh, Mija Yopin store. I've seen it on uh, some packaging of new products that I got in. You can download the Mija Yopin app right here to stay up to date with all the new Xiaomi releases. It's been a very long episode, but I think we're getting used to that because these guys are just unstoppable right now. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.